Here we are going to make Ras Malai. Ras is nothing but the juice and Malai is nothing but the solid part. Solid part of milk is also called as Malai. So first part we are going to make that is the Malai part. We need full fat milk, preferably cow milk, 500 ml. Half of a lemon, sugar one third cup, one teaspoon of corn flour and water. This makes the Malai part. And now the rust part, if we go, it's called as rabdi. The sweet rabdi that we refer to, right? The rabdi part. So that is nothing but half liter of full milk and then half cup of sugar, one third spoon part of elachi powder or cardamom powder and nuts, five to six, which are finely chopped. Heat a pan and add milk to it. When the milk boils, that is when we are going to add drops of lemon to it. We are going to cuddle the milk and we are going to take the softer version of the paneer that is cuddled. For regular paneer, we are going to press that, make it hard and do all those. All those steps are taken out here and we want the softer version of paneer. Since the softer version is hard to handle, we will mix a bit of corn flour and once you have done it for a couple of times you can skip that step. Now the soft version of paneer is ready. I am not going to drain out the water completely and squeeze it. I am just going to drain out the water and rewash it because rewashing is required because uh, lemon flavor is struck here. So washing it with cold water to ensure that the lemon flavor is gone. You can add a bit of saffron to convert this into yellow color. So nicely mash it and add a bit of corn flour and make it into a dough. Now take a part of dough. If you notice the dough is very soft. Take a part of the dough and make it into a ball and then flatten it. You might get some cracks on the borders. I am just showing it. Seal the cracks and make them tight intact. Add water and then add the sugar mix it really well like we do for gulab jam right so we are doing the same process here when it comes to a desired consistency there we are going to drop these into that sugar syrup because the sugar needs to be soaked inside now it has boiled nicely now we are just putting these into this sugar syrup, soaking. They bulge out a little, so make sure that the pan is enough to absorb these changes. Cook it for about 10 minutes. Flip them over so that the sugar syrup is uniformly absorbed. Now take some cold water and then after it is 10 to 15 minutes, right, when they are nicely absorbed, just transfer them into that bowl. This finishes us our first part. Now heat a pan again, add the milk to it. This is the rabdi part that we are going to make here. Sugar has to be adjusted as per your taste. It's boiling. You can see the cream formed on the top. Now add sugar gently and then let it dissolve completely into it. Now add elachi powder as per your taste. People who do not like elachi powder can skip this step. I have friends of mine who do not prefer the flavor. Now finely chopped pieces of badam. You can add pisto also and kaju. If you cook it for a little more time, it becomes into a nice thick rabdi, but we are not going to cook it into for a longer time. We are going to cook it till it boils, boils, and then when it has reached to a little thicker consistency, we are going to turn it into low flame and then switch it off. Now we are going to take these and we are going to squeeze out the water and then put this into the milk. This absorbs the milk. The water is gone and this starts to absorb the milk. Refrigerate it for 5 hours and then give it. The milk and the sweetness is absorbed and it really tastes superb.